So to get started, let's open up my terminal and I will create a basic project inside my desktop. So I'll go to desktop and I'll create a folder called electron app. Let's cd into that. And the first thing that we will do is do a git init. We obviously want our code to be inside git. And then what I will also do is add the npm package JSON so that we can pull in certain dependencies. So to do that, first thing is doing npm init. Now it will ask me a series of questions. For example, the name of my package version, we can go with 0.0.1 because this is not really the production. Okay, we'll go with this is a dummy app and entry point is basically the main file where our source code will be for the electron app to start. We will call it main.js. Test command, I don't have any. Git repository, I don't have any right now. We can add that later. We'll add a few keywords, for example, electron, react, JS, maybe, and TypeScript. Okay. And license, I can do MIT and hit yes. So if I now open this project inside my VS code, I'll see a package.json just got created with all the details that I have added just now. So this is fine, but then I do need the electron J electrons package, right? So why don't we go to the terminal again and do npm install I stands for install electron and hit enter. So once the package is installed, we should have the ability to play around with it. Now, obviously we have said that our main entry file will be main.js. So why don't we go ahead and create that? And then I will also create certain files which will help me structure my code better. So one is prettier.rc. It's a JSON file where I'll set semicolons to be true, tab widths to be true, sorry, two and not true. Editor config, it should respect it because I will add that and single quote true as well. Okay, so this is my prettier RC configuration. This will help because I already have prettier extension installed on VS Code. So that extension will respect these configurations. Now, the last one is an editor config file where I will define few rules. Let me quickly paste that. So here is the config, basically some characters set, you know, again, indentation to two basic stuff. You can just copy paste it from the repository and this should be fine. Again, these are not mandatory, but what I like about these things is that it allows me to look at the code in a better way. And also it follows the proper formatting which i personally feel is very important so now with all of those things out of our way let's first try and create a basic electron app so before we start the development you need to understand that there are broadly two things in every electron app there is the renderer process which basically means the you know ui which is being presented to you and the second one is the main process where you know the electron or the backend thing is working okay that is the layer which talks to your os and does other stuff because we want to launch a window application we will do something like this equals require electron first we will get that from here i want app this is the electron app and browser window Okay, so now that we have these two things, how do we create a window? Let's create a function. By the way, now you can create multiple functions, but in here we will have one, which is the create main window, and we will add certain code in here. So I created a constant called main window, which is basically a new instance of the browser window, which we just Im imported. Okay, now it will take certain parameters for example 
title which is the title that will show up on the top of the application pretty much like the page title of a website i can define the width why don't we say it is going to be let's just say thousand height 600 okay and with this in place we will need something to load so why don't we create an index.html file have something in place over here as well like so and then what we will do is try and load that so we will create something called start url which will be from url which is coming by default from node will we get that no so why don't we require that as well and this will be something like url dot format and in here i'll do path name is okay i'll need the path as well so i'll get that as a required thing this is available with node uh, so i'll get that as well so path name is path oops path.join the directory name index.html we should be able to do that and protocol is file so this is my start url which basically is referencing to this index.html now i'll basically say that main window.load url it also has a file but for now let's go with that and the start url is defined over here and we have something but even now this function in itself is not going to do anything i need a way to tell electron that when an application starts it needs to execute that function well that's quite easy what i will do is i'll do app you know the thing which we imported from electron rather required and this app has a method called when ready so when the app is ready then we simply call this function okay let's see what happens now by default nothing is going to happen so why don't we do something like electron dot right i think electron is not globally installed so at first so that i can use the node module electron binary i can do something like electron dot and that should allow me to run npm run start and it should launch the app and it shows me the test page so as i said we are now able to create an instance of an app which is running like any other mac application or on a windows or even linux a, a application that you have installed right because it is not a web page this is basically running as an application you can see and we are able to see the html content of index.html on this app so this is good progress we have created an app instance and you know, we are able to do certain things but right now making any change to the file doesn't really reflect anything because if i now go to my app again nothing changes and i can't automatically do that although control r is something which i can do as you can see if i change this again okay because this is a web thing i can do control r and it shows up but i would want this happening automatically so how can we do that let's see so there is something called npx electron mon so if you guys are familiar with nodemon then you now this is the kind of thing for electron so npx electron and then dot 
sorry um not electron electron mon okay with this in place what will happen is it will first obviously ask you to add the dependency once that is done it's up and running now check this if i hit save it says render renderer file change okay and if i go over here can you see this is coming up so just so that i can show you the proof why don't we do one thing let's add hello world and hit save can you see the moment i hit save it automatically comes on the screen this is one more line and i hit save things are coming up so the npx electron mon is the node module which will help you to get this live reloading in place and believe me this does help a lot and with that the development flow really gets better now a small tweak um, to the package json we were using npm start instead of that now i can have start dev or watch which will do npx electron mon i'll just do trace warnings and then dot okay so now if i close that out do npm run start or rather do it dev watch okay dev watch and it should open this up and the rest of the things will continue to be as is now the last thing for this video is can you see the number of commits of files this is happening because for some reason it is also taking the node modules into picture because i haven't added a git ignore so let's quickly add that node modules because i don't want to commit my node modules folder obviously and now it has been reduced to seven files only all the seven files we got we created out of this this is the lock file which is fine so we will add that and say initial code okay so i still need to create a github repository i'll do that on github and share the code but yeah you know this is what we have we have a basic node based or rather electron based application desktop application which we will be able to use and the development will be pure javascript which is even better so yeah i'm quite excited about this series and the videos which are coming along so stay tuned and if you like this video do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to subscribe to my channel